Hey guys, and welcome to... Let it I really hope that works. <laughs> Anyways, regardless guys, my name is Logan Andor Frost, and today I'm going to be answering the question, how the hell did you kill a pill bug? Now the reason why that is valuable is because the pill bug, it's like that blue, or not blue, green centipede, it has one of, if not the absolute most overpowered thing, or fungus, or shroom in the game, that is let it die. And you need it, and you can get it extremely early on, and it is gonna make your life so so much easier so please for the love of god if you're having any and if anyone's having trouble just tell them this little tidbit because it's kind of like an easter egg within the game that is like crazy val valuable <laughs> like insane um anyways regardless so first things first uh, a pill bug you get them at stage 11 so if you're if you haven't beaten the first boss get to level 11 which requires you to beat the first boss and yeah floor 11 is when you get access to these creatures or these monsters whatever you want to call them now before i get into how we actually knock them on their ass and stab them or whatever have you um big shout out to this person and the the reddit person that i can't find <laughs> because for some reason i can't find it in my history it wasn't it wasn't like one of those anyways regardless um, yeah, I can't, I don't know where he is. Maybe I find it and I put it over here. God help me. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so thank you for the comment for sending me on this treasure hunt to find out how to actually kill him. Um, and that's why I'm making this video is because I searched it up on YouTube and no videos came up. Then again, you should probably just search up the fungus name. Then again, who has time for that? Who's just, what, what? Anyways, regardless, so how do you kill the pill bug? Um, and again, the reason why we want the pill bug is because it drops a fungus. We'll get into it. Anyways, so the pill bug is, uh, it turtles up every time you pick it up or you stomp on it. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes it can get weird, like the gameplay you're seeing right now, where he just keeps opening up. So what you need to do is you need to knock the, the pill bug on its back, and it'll start to, like, flail a little bit. Then you just need to hit it with any weapon, and that will kill it. Um, any vertical weapon. You can't, like, punch it with your fists. Now, what you can do is use your right joystick and click it inwards, and that will lock on to the pill bug. So if you have a ranged weapon, he'll just shoot it and kill the pill bug right there. Um, I did it with a nail gun. Super easy, fast, has a ton of ammo, so best weapon to do it with, I think. Um, you can also do it with a little dagger, a bowie knife, or, or a shiv, whatever it's called, <laughs> whatever it's called in the game. Um, and you can also do it with a shotgun, I imagine, or anything like that. You can also do it with a, in a, a cleaver, <laughs> anything that has a vertical strike directly downwards. I just find the guns are almost always accurate when it comes to pointing and shooting at the pill bug. And it's pretty fast like this. Um, and that's it. The fungus will spawn. Now, always cook this fungus um, because it doubles the percentage of health you get back. So, first of all, why do you want this fungus called Life Shroom? Um, which I actually got this just from like a weekly reward or whatever have you. And I was like, this this sounds good, but not good enough for the condition. Um, so, what it says is it says a gain up to 20% health, which is awesome. Um, that is 20% health of your total health completely. It's not a large portion of health. It's for sure 20% of your health. Um, you're like, that sounds pretty awesome. Hell yeah. But the condition is it's called fatal damage, which to me, I thought you have the chance of getting a lot of health or you have the chance of getting a ton of damage put on you, a fatal amount. Not enough to kill you, but definitely enough to hurt you. No, <laughs> this is not how that works at all. Uh, it kind of makes sense because it's called life shroom. So the fact that it have a negative isn't really a thing. What this does is this will give you a permanent buff as soon as you eat it um, and allow you to come back from death. So when you get hit, you die essentially, you will get 50% of your health back and stay alive. Um, and there's no gimmick um, to that, by the way. I heard some people speculating that it was, um, if you say if you have a, like 10,000 health or whatever have you, um, if you ha only had 200 health and you took the thing, it would take it from that sum of health. And if you died there, it would regenerate only uh, 150 health or however much it would be. That's not how that works. <laughs> it's out of your total health pool. Uh, so no problems there. And... I am so sad that I didn't see this sooner, dude, because there's so many times where I've died just because it was just, I got stun locked with a damn fire sword or anything like that, and I was like, come on, I was, I was so, ha, ah. and this allows you to have a do-over, and it's easy to get. Um, in fact, I'm planning on making another video just for people that uh, haven't, they don't know how to farm for mushrooms, and it's extremely, extremely easy to farm for mushrooms. Um, or sorry, everything, a uh, fungus, uh, clothing, high level items, resources, not so much, but uh, mushrooms so that you can one hit bosses and slow time forever <laughs> because you have so much slow time mushrooms. Anyways, um, I'm going to be uploading a video somewhere on screen right now, hopefully, hopefully, uh, which will be that video. Uh, but yeah, it's a video that's going to tell you guys how to farm for shrooms. I think I've already explained it in the video, but I'd want to do it again. It should be on screen right now if I did get to it um, by the time you're watching this. Thank you so much for watching, as always. There'll be a subscribe button above me, as well as two videos to the left, one of them hopefully being that video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and be sure to subscribe, because I do plan on making tons of Let It Die guides, because this is one of those games that I feel like needs it. Anyways, bye guys.